hello so i'm going to be doing a little girl talk i've done two of these before but the questions in here are nowhere near as mild my birth control so i got it out here just that you know got a little visual it's the gadarel one gadarel i do not know but it's in like the pink and the blue god said i've never had any problems with it like at all i went on that one oh no I might have gone on Regevered on first and then on that and then back on, <laughs> I don't know, I, I've tried like two or three um, but that one worked the best. That's one more now, I've been on that now for months and months. It has, yeah, I've never had any major issues with it or any issues really at all. I've been on that since last September so it's been a year and two months and yeah, I've not gotten pregnant so. <laughs> Qualities that make someone attractive so... I'd say, being honest, obviously you've got physical attraction, but I'd say like qualities in a person, funny, and it's, it's so good when a man is funny. Like dominant, not in a controlling way, but in a way that's like protective. And you want someone that's gonna look, look after you. Cheated on, no, I have not been cheated on, thank fuck. How did my last relationship end? So I'm in one now, but I've been in like two petty ones, but I'm just gonna say how this first one ended just because it's a really funny story. I mean, it's funny to me. This was in year seven, like the very end of it. We got like end of year trip. So we got to go to Thorpe Park. And the night before I broke up with my boyfriend because I just got bored of him. <laughs> I just got bored of him. I mean, I was 12. And then we went to Thorpe Park the next day and we was in Burger King and we kind of made this like mutual decision. But obviously it was on my part because I got back with him very stupidly an hour a couple of hours after i broke up with him the previous night and then was in burger king at thought park and i was just like i don't actually know if i want to be with you and we kind of made that mutual decision but obviously i led it to end but what can you do I did have like another very 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 small relationship like it literally lasted a week the only reason i count it is like a tiny little relationship is only because that's like one out of three that i've had but um he turned out gay so we'll leave that one there kiss count two i've got one boyfriend now i say that as if like i'm gonna get another i've got a boyfriend and yeah called by my parents not exactly no people in my house have heard things but no one's ever like waltz in and been like whoa <laughs> you know um we've definitely been like cop blocked but we've not been walked in on because i have a lock on my door thank god What's the oldest and youngest I'd go for? Youngest, I'd go for like my academic year. I don't think I would have ever gone for the year below. Maybe, I don't know, because I'm year 13. So if I was single, I don't even know if I would go for like year 12. But oldest would probably say like 20, because I've just turned 18. I'm not going for like beyond 20. <laughs> I think I'd be too scared. I'd be like, that seems like a power struggle. You're like a fully grown adult and I've literally just entered adulthood online relationships i've not really had an online relationship but i've had like things online like you do on snapchat and stuff like that i talked to this like polish guy for months and months um i was talking to someone in scotland and he wanted to get a plane ticket to come down to me and obviously i live in like the southeast so that's like that's a long ass journey i think that's why i wanted to take a plane so of like train because i came to train <laughs> from fucking Glasgow. Biggest turn off. The only one I can really think of is hygiene, but not in the sense of mental health. I mean like lazy hygiene. Like if you don't wash just because you can't be bothered and you smell all the time and you don't care to do anything about it, please go away. <laughs> but obviously, like I say, the only exception I have is mental health because I know mental health. I've had mental health issues myself. I know full well it stops you from doing a lot of your basic needs. Um, I have a fat Red Bull here, so it's just, I'm surviving off this today. <laughs> I'm surviving off this and Weetabix so far, and it's half one. Smoking, vaping, all of that jazz. Not done it, none of them. Not, I haven't done them. I've had alcohol, but that's as far as I've gone. <laughs> I mean, I'm 18, so you might have fought, maybe, but no, I've not smoked, not vaped anything. I feel like there wouldn't be any point in me smoking and vaping now because it doesn't appeal to me too much, but it's like, if I started it, why would I just start it out of nowhere? Like, if I was already smoking, 
I would vape because obviously vaping is meant to be like less dangerous and stuff. So I'd only vape if it was to cut back from something else, if that makes sense. What do I do when I'm sad? You know what? Last night I was really, really, really feeling shit and I bled sad music into my ears. And I mean blaring, like full volume. Um, I turned like the noise equalizer or like sound normalizing thing off on Tidal so that it makes it even louder. <laughs> um, and the best way that I can really do it is I just cry. I just listen to sad music and cry and get it out. I just sob because I feel like sometimes that's what you need to do. Um, <laughs> otherwise I just sit here like a little garden gnome doing nothing. Or I might get myself drink or like food. I remember yeah, like the other night I really, really wanted food. I've been like craving foods recently. So I just always want a Chinese and a double cheeseburger from McDonald's. I like chips and McFlurry. McDonald's and Chinese, I just seem to be my little, like what I want at the moment. Have I had any pregnancy scares? Babe, let me tell you, the moment, the moment you become sexually active, you've got a journey of pregnancy scares ahead of you. I got a false positive two days ago. See, like, pregnancy scares fuck off your head, mate. They really, really do. Have tests so that you can reassure yourself. That's kind of the only advice I can give. Um, I have, like, a box of them in my drawer that were from Amazon. Like, get the cheap strip ones. Just be wary because they can give you a false positive. Um, because of the evaporation lines and stuff, I could tell from the moment I saw it that it was a false positive. I know that might seem delusional. You're like, well, maybe you were just in denial. No, for some reason, like, because the ink wasn't all the way across the line, it was like on the on the side. I just had a feeling that it weren't actually positive, and then I didn't know what it was negative, and I was like, you can feel disappointed and cry and everything. It's almost like you go through like a mini process of grief when you have a negative pregnancy test, even if you don't want one. Like, even if you don't want a baby right now, or you don't want a baby at all, you can still feel that, like, it's horrible, it really is, like, plastic surgery. You know what, I would get my tits done. I do want to, but it would be after I have kids, I think. At the moment, that's my decision. I, like, I really want them done, but I think I'll get it done after I have kids, because obviously your boobs can change loads. Obviously, I'll, after my first, I think I'll have a little bit of an idea how much my boobs will change. <laughs> I get insecure. I they did not even turn into a B and think until I went on the pill. If you're going on a pill to change your body or like lose weight or gain weight, any anything, it's very subject subjective to the person. Um, I've not gained weight or anything on the pill. My boobs got like the slightest bit bigger, like not noticeably. You do it for like the reason that you should be, like for your periods or contraception. Obviously, don't do it to literally mould your body into something because it's very subjective and it will affect everyone really different. Where would I like to be proposed to or married? Proposed to, I want it to be intimate. I've said this to my boyfriend so many times. I'm like, I want it to be just us. Like we go away for the weekend or we're in a hotel or we're at a restaurant. I mean, restaurant's not really that private, but I don't want like my family members there, you know? <laughs> uh, married, I don't know, just not really in a church. I might, I would get married like inside, just not in a church. And I want to find like an actual venue so that you could do like um, ceremony and reception at the same place. Cause I'm pretty sure there are places that do that. Cause obviously a lot of people move from the ceremony place to the reception. It's, it's a load of faffle and I don't want a dinner. I don't want a ma like a wedding dinner. I don't, you can have dinner at the fucking reception and drinks, like have a buffet. <laughs> I'm not, and you can have cake. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that whole dinner thing. I feel like that's very American. Some people do it here, but I feel like that's more of an American thing. One night stands, no. That's what I'm going to say. No, <laughs> not my thing. Got on badly drunk. Sort of. There's, I've been drunk enough to not remember things. I think that's to a good extent. Let's just say I shouldn't have mixed vodka with gin. What do I spend most of my money on? Food. <laughs> No, some of it goes to foods. Um, at the moment, I'm spending some money on driving lessons every month, like clothes. At the moment, it's presents, obviously. You've got Christmas, birthdays, everywhere. Perfect date. I put shopping, so shopping, food, cinema, arcades, comfy takeaway night. They're like my ideal little dates. Like, cinema is really good. Arcades, absolutely adorable. Like, if he wins you a toy, what more can you fucking ask for? Um, or if you spend 50 quid to get a fiver out of the 2p machines. That's what my mum did. She spent 40 quid and got a fiver. 
why because it's fun <laughs> fancy takeaway night i think that's my favorite one i can't lie like being indoors getting a chinese or a pizza and just having that quality time sexuality straight um uh, <laughs> i've never really like thought too much into it i think i've just known that i'm not really interested in anything other than men girls can compliment another girl in like a se sexual way but it's not sexual it's just like girl your tics are great and it's not sexual that's genuinely just like a girl to girl compliment can guys and girls just be friends i feel like if my dad was here he'd be like no and i do partially agree with that like i do think it's a bit of a meh, it's a bit of a weird area because I feel like mm, there's always going to be someone that has even just like an inkling, like a little bit of feeling, even if it's like, oh, she's out of my league, but she's beautiful. Like there's always going to be some sort of like romantic thing, I feel. I mean, you can be platonic friends, but I feel like there's always going to be someone that's thinking about it. Difference in loving and being in love. Well, you're not in love with your mum, but you love your mum, so in love is a different feeling it's a different level of comfort and security and emotion like the emotion that comes with that is completely different and it's not to say that you would grieve them differently it's a difference between a romantic and sexual interest and a plutonic loving caring interest i really hope you enjoyed and um, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me